Hello, I'm Elios Gonzalez. And I'm Jimmy Changa. And today's episode is not sponsored by Elios Pizza. Mm. It'd be a lot cooler if it was. No, it'd be really great if it was. Hey, really great. Just like Elios Pizza. It's really good. It's good. It, it, it's, it's good. Well, I know I love it. And that's why we paired up our favorite pizza from when we were kids with our favorite TV host from when we were kids. That's right. He blew up in the 90s on Nickelodeon with shows like Double Dare and What Would You Do? He also went on to host the hit show on Food Network called Unwrapped and then was the executive producer on a number of shows there. <laughs> Whoa. Also, he has a documentary out right now called On Your Mark. Please welcome our guest, Mark, Mark Summers. Summers. Hey guys, thanks very much. Nice introduction. Mark's playing our favorite game today, True Story or False Story. That's where he tells us a story, and at the end, he tells us if it's true or if it was false. Yes! Wow! So, I'm obsessed with The Tonight Show. Have been since I, I'm a little kid. The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson. And so, I'm going to tell you three stories about The Tonight Show. Two are true, one is false. Can you guess which one it is? Here we go. It's uh, I started off my career in Los Angeles, California at a place called the Magic Castle because I was, at the time, a professional magician. Well, hopefully, uh, somebody would walk in and see you and give you a job on a TV show. Well, one night, they tell me that Johnny Carson is in the club and he's coming to see my show next. Well, I figured, oh, this is it. He's gonna see me, he's gonna love me, and he's gonna put me on the show. Great story, Mark. Keep going, pal. <sighs> well, it, it was a very kind of stuffy club, and even to this day, you need a coat and tie to get in. Well, when Johnny walked in the door, they thought, well, it's Johnny Carson, nobody even noticed that he didn't have a tie on. As he was getting ready to sit down to see my show, the uh, head uh, uh, club guy who was uh, overseeing the place that night, his name was Mickey O'Malley, I never forgot that, said, uh, Mr. Carson, you're going to have to put on a tie. And Johnny said, uh, I'm sorry I don't have one. And they said, well, we've got one upstairs if you'd like to come upstairs and put it on. And he said, well, I'm not wearing somebody else's tie. And uh, a little, uh, well, not sure, not, not exactly fisticuffs, but uh, words were exchanged. And Johnny walked out, and um, sadly, my opportunity to do The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson was that close, but he got thrown out of the club and never happened. You think that's true or not? No way. That story was true. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's awesome. Okay, here's another story about The Tonight Show. I get no doubt. So Johnny uh, had left and Jay had taken over. And I had a publicist who uh, handled uh, a lot of people on the show, got me an interview, and uh, they booked me. But after they booked me, I was booked and unbooked about a year, over and over and over again. You're on, you're off, you're on, you're off, you're on, you're off. Well, finally, they said, you're definitely on tonight. So a car comes and picks me up, the old stretch limo, you go, oh, this is very cool. And the car gets a flat tire on the way to the studio. I figured, oh my God, this is incredible. This is never gonna happen. Well, I got there just a few minutes before the show, Jay walked into my dressing room, hey, sorry, sorry about the, the flat tire, but you're here, you know, and you're finally going to be on. So, um, bad Jay Leno. I'm on with Burt Reynolds. And uh, Burt Reynolds was going through a very um, difficult book tour and was in the middle of getting a divorce with uh, Lonnie Anderson. Well, he came out and was really angry because Jay, the night before, had told all sorts of horrible stories about him. And when I walked out, we actually traded words and got into a fight. No way. And uh, they brought out two pies, and the next thing you saw, Bert and I are back to back having a pie fight, and that happened with Jay Leno on The Tonight Show. Mark, is that story true or not? I found him guilty of lying. Case dismissed. And that story is true. In fact, you can go on YouTube and find it. My, my wife tells me that often. She says, good morning. I'm not You're still married, as a matter of fact. Yes, well, you... Mark, that was a great story. <laughs> I'd be crazy not to answer this question. How are those potatoes? Potatoes are damn good. Hmm. They look good. All right, guys, here's my third Tonight Show story. 
Uh, once again, I started uh, with Johnny, uh, went to Jay, and of course now Jimmy Fallon is the host. And uh, I'm bi-coastal. I live in California, I live in New York. And recently, I bought a house right across the street from Jimmy Fallon. I thought, oh my God, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. I haven't done the Tonight Show yet with Jimmy. So one day, I saw him out getting the paper and getting the mail, and I went over and knocked on the door and introduced myself. And guess what? Uh, we just kind of hit it off. He invited me inside for dinner, and uh, we've become pretty good friends. And he said between now and the next two or three months, I'm going to do the Tonight Show with him. So uh, I'm excited. What? Is that story true? And that story was BS, false, not true. I don't live in New York. I live in California. Wow. What a great episode. I mean, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> We'd love to stay with you guys all day, but we can't because we have to get back to our jobs at Elio's. Oh. <laughs> well, all right. Well, I mean, technically we don't work for Elio's or even with Elio's, but we'd love to, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically we kind of just... Uh, buy hundreds and hundreds of boxes and uh, go out at night and deliver them to people's houses. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's more of we force our way in and cook them in their oven. But, uh, you know, the lawsuits pale in comparison to that sweet, sweet taste of nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're wanted felons. Right. See you next week. If we listen to each other. Hi, everyone. This is Chuck Schumer. You know, as New Yorkers, we know, no matter what happens, you gotta go to work. You gotta push on. It's the New York way. It's the American way. Subway's on fire. Get to work. You break your leg, get shot. You better be in at 9 o'clock, you son of a bitch. The other thing... <laughs>